Hey friends, hope you're doing well. We've got some exciting news for every single one of you who's running a 10 series graphics card out there, as long as you spent more than $250 on it, and people who uh, picked up the new GTX 1660 and you were looking at the RTX cards and you said, gosh dang it, Nvidia, why you gotta lock down your ecosystem? I want ray tracing too. You're just using DXR, which is an API. I mean, I can use it. We can, we can have ray tracing. AMD could even do ray tracing on DXR. You don't need hardware acceleration in order to do it well my friends in case you don't remember I believe it was it was back at CES or that sounds about right or even a couple months later when did they announce that they were gonna put ray tracing on GTX cards feels like a CES announcement anyways the point is it's now finally here with the latest driver update on the Nvidia website if you have a 1066 gig and up to a 1080 Ti or you have a GTX 1660 or 1660 Ti those will now be able to ray trace in all of the video games that use DXR so you got things like Battlefield you got things like Battlefield Field. You got things like what other games have ray tracing that matter? <laughs> Anthem doesn't have it, it has DLSS supposedly. Metro Exodus, uh, I think Shadow of the Tomb Raider got the update as well. So now all of your favorite ray trace games you can play at tremendously slow frame rate. So if we look at the Tech Power Up article right here, they have tons of slides from all of the different versions of graphics cards running at different settings with different resolutions and all of that good stuff. And honestly, it's kind of impressive because if you look at the Turing cards, the 1660 Ti honestly gets pretty close to a GTX 1080 in some ray tracing instances. So it does look like uh, the, the new Turing architecture is more optimized for these types of things because it has uh, better async compute and it can do multiple things at different times because of the way that they've designed the pipeline of the architecture that Pascal couldn't do. So it's kind of rough, but it looks like if you want to get playable frame rates that is above 30 FPS at 1440p, you're going to need at least a 1080 Ti and it looks at 1080p if you want 30 FPS. Um, enjoy a 1060 because that's going to suck. I'm so sorry. But not only on top of that is the support now here, but also they actually released a few demos that you're able to try out with your 10 series graphics cards. So that Star Wars demo that is now living in infamy that they unveiled at GTC a year and a half ago in March of 2018, you can now run on your computer and see what type of frame rate you can get. There's also the Atomic Heart uh, demo as well as the Justice demo in case you want to try those out on your brand new capable 10 series ray tracing setup. And unfortunately for everybody who's running a 9 series card and below or a 1050 Ti and a 1050 or a 1650, when that comes out, you're not going to have ray tracing whatsoever. This is on up, but given the indication that a 1080 Ti is sucky garbage, uh, uh, when it comes to ray tracing, you're not really missing out on much because, I mean, you're playing at lower frame rates anyways. Do you really want to lower them even more? Anyways, that's the little bit of news that we have about NVIDIA releasing ray tracing to the 10 series cards. If you want to watch a video of the actual performance, we have one of those coming out on the main channel, which you can check out right up there. So if you go over to UFD Tech, we should have that out after this video comes out. This should come out uh, like three or four hours before we release that video. Anyways, hit the like button if you enjoyed this hot news clip. Get subscribed to stay up to date on these little exclusives and short clips and some deep dives on things that we may not be able to cover over on the main channel because instead of covering the news, we're actually just going to test out the ray tracing. So that's what this channel is supposed to exist for. So get subscribed to it. And I'm Brett with the Hot News Channel and I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.